Hi there, everyone. This is Tina, and this is your message of the day. And this comes to you on the day of Tuesday, November the seventh, twenty twenty-three. And the number seven is very, very important. Usually, to those who understand numbers and numerology, it's the number of creation. So this day. You're asked to re, really recreate yourself and recreate every realm of your life. What is not satisfactory to you, what you are irritated with, what you've been carrying as baggage, what you wanted to change and it's just not changing, and you're just frustrated with all of that because all these things are coming to the surface. All these, you can say, um, problems that you pushed aside and pushed under the carpet, because the divine ones want you to notice. What it is, and where it is that you're hiding from yourself. What does that mean? There's so much that the divine ones want to give you. When you were born, you were absolutely born blameless, and you had all of the faculties you can say of heaven poured into you in every way. It's just that when we see a human body, we measure ourselves just by a limited body, and we think that's all that we are. That our mind is just limited; that we can just, you know, process the logical, and the emotions are just to react and really should be pushed aside. Most of the time, emotions are not given high credit, to be honest. And this is the day they demand um, your attention. They demand to be uh, paid attention to. The, let's just say that they will not be pushed aside. Whatever you do to push aside those emotions, especially in those patterns that always. Seem to emerge in particular reactions of situations in workplace, be it in home, be it in how you handle the day, in the routine you bring into the day, stress, how you deal with stress, all these choosing you, you the power of choice you can say will be given to you, and so always when that happens. You feel overwhelmed, and you feel like, should I go left or should I go right, and which is my pri- priority? And、um, if I go left, am I ignoring right, and am I disrespecting right, and w- where should I be? So you can see what happens to the human psyche. Then that's okay. Don't blame yourself. It's very, very difficult to live in this world. <laughs> And put put that statement aside too. It's very easy to live in this world, and I will find my way to do it, and I will find my purpose, and I will find the way to express myself and to give my give of myself and my talents and use those, and I will gain full fulfillment. And for some of you, it might also mean,、um, you know. Gaining more skills in the sense that of of what you already know, and you might say, "But I already know so much." Knowledge is unlimited, really. So this is the day also that a lot of your、uh, ideas will start to pour in, and don't ignore them and think that why am I why am I thinking this? Am I not supposed to just have arrived? You never really arrive. You're always. You can say tickering away at the clock and trying to make it run better. So th- this day, the ideas will pour in, and all of the heavenly, heavenly instruments and beings and divine ones around you are aiding you in this process. So go ahead and write and write down whatever you want to remember. Make a list for those of you who also always. Are trying to make lists and never、uh, can abide by them. This is the day that choose a small list. Maybe it's only four items you put in there, but you will complete them by the end of the day. You'll have that sense of completion and satisfaction that is very, very important for divine ones to see in each one of us right now, because we are basically dealing with what we do wrong, not what we do co- correctly. So this is the day to see how. You go through life and you you manage it so with such satis, satisfaction that you don't even realize what you're bringing to this world and just being yourself and just having faith and just going about your day and they you can say the people who are watching you ask what is it what is your secret and then that's how faith in hand is enhanced that's how we increase. Our power to share what what we understand of the divine and what we've experienced, 
And of course, miracles will flow for everyone because you opened your heart, you you gave of yourself, and love is flowing in that sense. There's there's an expression and flow of love when you just let go and surrender. And your dreams and what is important to you and the blessings that you seek are not lost in the process. In fact, they're enhanced. You can say they get um, a battery charge to go even quicker. Why? Because you went off your own self. You forgot about yourself in those five, 10 minutes, whatever it might be. If it's five, 10 minutes, if it's one hour, whatever calls to your heart, do it. This day is very, very, you can say led by heart. So the intuitive faculties of clairsentience, if any of you have always wanted to enhance that and you say, what is clairsentience? I don't even have the idea of the word. Go ahead and discover it today. Discover your power to feel and how your feelings can really be used to good effect other than just reacting and hiding and shunning away and being shy or, or, or just being resentful or focusing more on the negative and than the positive. It's so much easier to focus on the positive, right? And this day also, for those of you who just love rushing about and doing 20,000 things in one moment, this will be a day that might be actually challenging. Why? Because there's a very, very calm, graceful, and patient, you can say, Think about it, what? Say what? Patient what? Is it patience for mind to just think of one thing at a time? Is it patience of heart to not get upset immediately for the more sensitive, to find a way to cope with that and to understand which feelings and what form of feelings work for you? Take a moment again. That's why I went quiet again. When you go quiet, what it is you are doing for yourself is you're giving the green light to your inner self to speak up. And also for those of you who are still struggling and um, you've hidden your feelings so far down that it's hard for you to pull it up yourself. It's not supposed to be some carpet process. It's very graceful and gentle. Be kind with yourself. So use nice, soothing music if you have to, meditative type music to enhance the process. And for those of you who know Reiki and energy healing, apply that around you, in the space around you, the room, nice perfume, nice color of clothing. It will enhance Because a lot of you will be feeling this dead lull. That you're just not moving forward. And it's very frustrating when that doesn't happen. We always want to be in the middle of something. It's just the way earth functions, earthly life functions. So don't, again, blame yourself that you are that way. But but I have so many responsibilities on my head, on my mind, that I have to take care of. This day, remove those and say, I will still get all my daily duties and responsibilities taken care of, but with a sense of grace and peacefulness and power. And there's this word lull, I throw it out the window. I just choose to follow along with what and where the guide, guidance of the Divine Ones, the angelic forces, all the Divine Ones around me tell me what my inner self tells me. I listen to my inner self and I trust my inner self. I don't hold back if some feelings that I buried so long ago that are painful, that are still carrying sadness from a long time ago, Acknowledge them because this is the time for them to be healed. If they're out in the light, they have the chance to transmute into light then. You don't have to carry them anymore. And you don't have to repeat anymore. You're you're ready actually, dear one, 
to invite all forms of happiness into your life. Because the card that comes for you this day is the card very synchronistically connected with the day's date, seven, seven of earth. And look at how, how much more appropriate could it be? It's like you're planting a diamond into the earth and you will see it sprout. You've done the needful and will continue now to be excited about doing more of the needful, knowing this and accepting this. And for some of you who are always in meditative state, you can say, or rush to get into meditation and in a way hide from daily responsibility because it's too overwhelming, that is also because you are a sensitive person who cannot take on the emotional energies around you, be it space, be it people, be it even objects. Yes, objects do exude energy. And you can pick all of that up. And you don't have some transmitter within you telling you which one is which. So you you feel a sense of drain and fatigue and irritability and anger and resentment for no reason. That is what is reacting Just be aware of that. It's just coming to you. And today, though he's not shown here, Archangel Raphael is very much a part of this process. And ask him to just shower you with the golden, white, and pink ray of healing light, unique to him. And whatever form of healing you seek, it doesn't just have to be emotional because emotions and the mind and activities and decisions all are together, right? They're not just in some separate box. It's it's all within the same body, you, the same soul, you. Acknowledge that. Enjoy that. Shine. You're not supposed to be tired, and you're not supposed to fear, and you're not supposed to presume that the worst is going to happen for you And that is never going to happen for you. God wants the best for you. That is why look at this tree in front of you. That's the tree of life, literally. The tree with all of the divine ones present. For you to touch any branch to go forward. And now you might ask, there's no man, there's no woman here. And none of the divine ones even seem present. It's just a tiny little fairy going forward. A fairy is representative in this card, in this image, again, of your magical self, your childlike self, your innocent self that believed everything was possible. Go back to that. Very difficult, right? Try that this day. Because see the words for you. This is huge sense of support. Feel the Divine One's hands literally and gently soothing your back right now. You might feel it as gentle angelic wings or just soft touch of hands. Don't be scared. (laughs) You're not inviting anything that's dangerous. This is seeds that are well planted. And as she goes forward, the more she goes forward, the more her sparkle will come come alive, be active. And then she will be able to use her wand to good effect. And that is exactly the gift you are given this day, the power to ask. Remember how the angelic forces work? Always upon asking. Think how important you are, that they don't come forward without your asking. That's how important you are. You don't have to be some great leader for that. You choose to lead today. Lead the best life. Lead and be the best you. And you will definitely invite everything that you want around you, towards you, what you want to create. If you want to start a new business, you want to start a new book, a creative activity like a painting, a song, totally up 
to you. Your seeds are very, very well planted. Just know that because you've done the needful by even listening to this. You've invited more and more. And looking at each one of these bubbles. Now, whatever comes to your feelings this day. Remember, feeling focus is in the forefront. So whatever comes and however it comes to you. Now, it doesn't have to just come to feeling. If it's visual and feeling, wonderful. But if it comes as also an audio message that comes to you and tells you to look at one of these bubbles, go ahead and trust that. You're going to have lots of fun with your intuition, by the way, if you choose to trust and just go along with the flow. Take it as play. That's why she she comes to you, this fairy, to help you enjoy this process and not be be bewildered by it. Most of the time we don't turn to our spirituality because we think it's some huge lofty task that is only for the mighty ones. That's not true. The mighty ones can learn a lot from you. How much you're handling in one day being here on earth. It's admirable. Yes, you listening to this. It's admirable. And see the greenery below her? That is again the landscape of heaven, all realms of heaven supporting you, guiding you. There's prosperity being prepared for you. All forms of prosperity, financial. If you have financial struggle, this is the time to ask for help to go forward and produce <laughs> and you can <clears throat> you can be specific if you want and don't think you're asking for too much that also stops some pe- some people from asking for financial abundance thinking oh this is this this number is not good just ask for what is best for you but give a specific number then it makes the angelic forces helping you work even quicker, you can say faster. What is challenging, you can say about today, is that a temporary pause in action is occurring. So there seems to be a lull in the air, and that can cause irritation. As I said, the movement forward is not in quantum pace, is not vibrant in that sense. You have to invite that vibrancy and feel it. And your fate will definitely be in a different space. Many of you are rising spiritually. So many spiritual epiphanies might also come this day. Desires to learn new forms or modalities or express yourself differently or connect with different forms of the divine that you were a very good angelic light worker and now you want to get into Reiki or you want to find new forms of Reiki. I'm just giving you what I know to be true. You apply it to you and just in the way that makes sense and has meaning for you. You don't have to take everything at face value of what I say. It's just a form of expression. You find your form of expression. In fact, when you give your comments back, I learn from you. Let's learn from each other. What a lovely way to go forward. So for today, just bear this temporary pause in action where you'll have to really, really coordinate everything. But don't hesitate and don't hold back and don't get tired out again and don't give up. That's all unnecessary. Unnecessary stress you're inviting to yourself, creating for yourself. Stress is nothing but a combination of energies which you've ignored. This day, find a way to remove those. And then you'll be better and better every day. Of course, worries will not just disappear by by magic because that's just the part part and parcel of the lessons that we have to learn on earth. But that's fine. If we take it in a different way and manage it in a different way, it'll become a pleasant journey 
rather than a t- some torture session that we have to go through. So this is unnecessary. Let it go. And this day, use each one of these bubbles to invite what you want to and create and heal and enhance and enjoy. So let us all go forward. And you might say, where am I walking into? I cannot see where she's walking into. Let the Divine Ones guide you. You will be absolutely safe and protected and guided for what is best for you. What is the best path? How you can discover it? What works for you? How you can enhance your talents and skills and express them in a better manner? Fulfillment. Ultimately, what's the bottom of that, the foundation of that? The earth of that, you can say. Love. So you are loved in every way. All of these bubbles express the divine compassion for you, the cosmic heart beating for you, loving you. And this is Tina signing off for now and enjoy this day and your seeds definitely planted and going forward, only forward. So bye for now.